Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be covering all the Void 3.0 aspects in Witch Queen. For those who don't know, I do have a Discord server. If you guys could join that or even leave a like or subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now, for those who don't know, in Witch Queen, Witch Queen uh, dropped today. Now, with that comes a lot of things like new exotics, new aspects, a lot of important things that you guys don't want to miss out on. Make sure to watch this video. I promise you, you won't regret it. So, I'm going to put an image on the screen of all the aspects. This is a list of I believe nine aspects. I'll read out everything what they do. The first aspect is called Bastion. Cast your super to grant overshield to nearby allies. Casting your barricade grants an overshield to yourself and nearby allies. The next one is Chaos Accelerant. Hold the overcharger grenade, making it deadlier and more effective. Vortex grenade increases size and then Child of the Old Gods. Cast your roof to create the void soul. When you damage a target with a weapon, your void soul flies to them. So like a void arc soul, which is cool. And then control demolition. Hitting a target with your void ability or violent explosion makes them violate for a further time. So what this will do is it will increase your explosion radius and make it even better for top tree sentinel so after that aspect there's feed the void defeat a target with void abilities to activate devour while devour is active final blows restore health offensive bulwark while you have an overshield in or are inside of your water dawn your grenade charges significantly faster you have increased melee range and then stylish executioner defeating a weakened suppression or violated target Grants invisibility and true sight after performing a stylus execution. So essentially what they're doing is merging everything together. And then after that there's Trapper's Ambush. Activate Quickfall to spend your melee charge and drive it to the ground impact with this. So essentially what they're doing is pretty much merging all void classes so you can have custom aspects. Which is really cool, but these are all the aspects. If you guys want to go back and read some of the other ones, you can. I'll also link where I got this in the description below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll have a lot more coming. Like always, see you guys in my next video.